You know, I've heard people say that if you hit the right high note, you can break glass using just your voice. Let's try it out. You know what? I'm sure it's impossible. Without a miracle, there's no way you can just break something using only your voice, right? Welcome everybody to our series Crossover, where we're looking at stories in the Bible of God using everyday people to do extraordinary things through the gifts of God. Before we jump into today's lesson, let's pray. Remember, prayer is us talking to God. God, we ask that you would give us the strength that we need to do everything that you want us to do in this life. And we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for praying, everybody. Now open up your Bible to the book of Joshua. We'll be in chapter 6 today. What do you guys think? Is Joshua in the New Testament or the Old Testament? Old Testament, that's right. So in Joshua chapter 6, we're going to see a time when God asked Joshua and his people, the Israelites, to lean on his strength in order to see something extraordinary happen. And we'll also see how, just like for Joshua, God can give us extraordinary strength. So God was giving his people the promised land, just as he had promised. They'd cross the Jordan River with Joshua leading the way, and now they were in the land. But there was only one problem. The land wasn't empty. God's people were going to have to fight against their enemies, and the kingdom of Jericho was their first stop. Fortunately, God had already encouraged Joshua. He told him, you just need to be strong and courageous. And he repeated that many times, Joshua, be strong and courageous. And so he gives Joshua his plan to defeat Jericho. So what's the brilliant military strategy going to be? Sneak attack at night and climb the wall? Uh, bold power move, charge the gates and break them down and, and go at them full force. Or maybe they're going to call out to the neighboring people and ask for allies and grow their army. Let's read in Joshua chapter 6 and see what the plan is. This is what it says starting in verse 3. You and your fighting men should march around the town once a day for six days. On the seventh day, you're to march around the town seven times with the priests blowing horns. When you hear the priests give one long blast on the ram's horns, have all the people shout as loud as they can. Then the walls of the town will collapse and the people can charge straight into the town. That's the worst plan ever. They're going to walk around the walls of the city a bunch of times and then blow horns and shout and somehow that's going to work. I can't wait to see what happens. But thinking of this crazy plan to defeat Jericho gives me a great idea for a game. Game time! Calling this one Jericho Burpees. So clear some space, get stretched out, and get ready to sweat. All right guys, for these Jericho Burpees, we are going to be doing burpees with a little bit of a twist. Jovi here is going to give us an example of what a burpee looks like. Go ahead, Jovi. Okay, so that's one. But instead of just doing a burpee, we're gonna be like the Israelites going around the city of Jericho. So we're gonna do a spin around, and then we'll go down into our burpee, and that counts as one. We're gonna do it six times just like that, and then a little twist on the seventh time. Everybody get ready. Joby, you ready? All right. On your mark, get set, let's spin around the city, go. It's one. Okay, on this next one, we're gonna spin around seven times. Try not to get too dizzy. And then we're gonna do seven burpees in a row. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, uh-oh. 
five, six, seven. Okay, seven burpees. Ready? Come on, Jovi. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more. Seven. Now yell. So how did this wacky plan to defeat Jericho turn out for God's people? Let's read. Verse 20 says this, When the people heard the sound of the ram's horns, they shouted as loud as they could. Suddenly the walls of Jericho collapsed and the Israelites charged straight into the town and captured it. They obeyed and they had victory, just like God said they would. God had told Joshua that he needed to be strong and courageous, but in the end, it wasn't Joshua's muscle power that brought the victory. It was his strength of faith. It was his trust in God. God gave him the extraordinary strength that he needed, but it came in a strange package. God wants us to be strong and courageous too. And it doesn't matter how crazy life is around us or how scary it might be. And it doesn't even matter how crazy it might look to obey God, just like walking around Jericho seemed kind of crazy. Obeying God isn't always the popular thing to do or the normal thing to do, but it is always the best thing to do. So we can look to God and if we trust him, he can give us the extraordinary strength that we need for any situation. That's it for this week, everybody. I love you all. Hope you're doing well. God bless you. Okay, this song is called Lord, I Lift Your Name on High. So be sure to be dancing, be sure to be moving around and doing the hand motions with us as you sing. All right, here we go. called Praise Ye the Lord. And you can pick a part if you want. You can sing just the hallelujahs or just the Praise Ye Lords, but make sure you're singing no matter what. All right, here we go. Praise ye the Lord. 